So that's enjoying a lot of success on the WSB, young yeah. Joe Joyce this season. He certainly has. Had some great spars with Fraser Clark and Anthony Joshua on the podium squad. And I think uh, Joe Joyce is going from strength to strength. Top man, ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for Mr. Lee Selby. Thank you, DJ Spoonie, for your excellent evening's work. We are now in the heavyweight division at 91 kilos, five three-minute rounds. Please welcome, hailing from Los Angeles, California, representing the USA Knockouts, Avery Gibson. Well, Avery Gibson's already uh, lost to uh, a British Lionheart in the first match of the 2013 season. He lost to uh, Yuan Far 3-0, a unanimous win. So uh, looking to put the record straight here, brings a lot of pro experience with him, and the uh, Californian obviously come here to the York Hall tonight to try and set the record straight for that season opener, Richie. Yeah, certainly, obviously, Gibson was beaten by, uh, we call him Junior Far, actually. Junior, who's come from Tonga, boxing for the for the British Lionhearts. Um, and obviously, Junior Far has been doing a lot of sparring with Joe Joyce also, so Joe will know what to expect here from Gibson. But this is the super heavyweight division, Nick, and anything can happen in more than any other division. One punch can change things here, so Joe Joyce has got a box to instruction, keep the guard up, and let's see how it goes. And so, people of London, entering the building, hailing from Putney, representing the British Lionhearts, Joe Joyce! Well, what a great story Joe Joyce brings to the British Lionhearts, a late starter, only took a boxing in his early 20s, but he's never looked back since, fair to say, twice the national champion of 2011 and uh, 2012. Only won his first international tournament in 2012 last year. But again, another rising star from the British Lionhearts, who's had a fantastic start. A TKO in his first ever WSB bout against the Italian Matteo Madugno, and also a good win over Philip Bruner against Germany in uh, week two of the contest. Yeah, he's proven with confidence in his Joe Joyce. He's been brought into the podium squad now, and he's training full-time with uh, the GB boxers up there in Sheffield. And again, taking it to like a duck to water. He listens, he learns, he's enthusiastic, he's a pleasure to train. And his strength is actually, for a super heavyweight, is in his work rate. Very, very fit, this lad. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your last contest of the evening. Five three-minute rounds of boxing in the heavyweight division at 91 kilos plus. Introducing to you firstly, boxing out of the blue corner, wearing the blue color shorts trimmed with white. He comes to the ring this evening from the professional ranks, having had four contests. Tonight is his second contest in the World Series of Boxing, presenting from Los Angeles, California, representing the USA Knockout, Avery Gibson. And opposing him, boxing out of the red corner, wearing the red color shorts trim with wide. His WSB record is an outstanding one. Two contests, two wins. One of those wins coming by way of knockout. He comes to the ring this evening as the current Great British Champion, presenting from Putney, representing the British Lionhearts, Joe Joyce. <laughs> Referee in charge of the action, Jean-Robert Lane from France. Five, three minute round. So, uh, Joe Joyce, favourite to make it, a clean sweep for the British Lionhearts okay. here, already 4-0 up. The match has won, but uh, Joe Joyce wants to maintain his unbeaten record here in uh, WSB. And uh, Avery Gibson, a wily and experienced pro boxer from Los Angeles, California. Joe Joyce, definitely the new kid on the block, but as our expert and former super middleweight world champion himself, Richie Woodall, has pointed out, the fitness level of Joe Joyce is what makes him favourite to make it 5-0 for the Lionhearts tonight.
Well, both boxers getting right down to work here. Yeah, you can see that Joe Joyce doesn't want to be the only loser here for the British Lionhearts tonight. Setting that terrific pace that we know he can. Very fit lad indeed. He just wants to box with, with a little bit more caution behind his jab. Take a look at his opponent. What um, Gibson will be probably looking for is that right hand over the top. So, Joyce has just got to watch himself in these opening stages. Just try and keep it long and box at distance. Yeah, keep the work rate going, but just with a little bit of caution. He's got a good pack counter punch, Avery Gibson. And uh, that's a good point made, Richie. Just needs to take advantage of his height and reach Where's advantage the Lionheart in the red shorts. Jab is the most important shot in these early stages here for Joyce. Just to measure the gap and that's it, keep his man off balance. But at the same time, he's got to be accurate with it. If he isn't, then Gibson will try and whip one over, right hand over the top. But this is a good, positive start from Joyce. He's setting the pace, high tempo, good stuff from Joyce in the opening stages. Jab working very well and he's putting the jab through the guard of the American and to the body as well. These are good combinations and they're all starting to take its toll on Gibson's performance in this first round with still a minute on the clock. There's that right hand that he's got to watch out for as Joyce. But what's surprising Gibson here more than anything is the work rate, the start from Joyce. He's probably not experienced this from a super heavyweight before. And uh, he certainly rabbit in the headlights slightly. Good start from Joyce, and, and Gibson just can't cope with the work rate from his opponent. And moving well, Gibson, but it's not enough. Joyce's work rate here is, as you quite rightly say, Richie, is just uh, catching the American off guard. So often we see the big men take their time in the first round to get into the pace of things. We're not seeing that from Joe Joyce. Showing wonderful physique, speed, and a very fast jab to open up Gibson to come in with the right hand. Oh, there's a good shot from the American. Well, that for me was a good first round from, from Joe Joyce. Just caught caught with a little left hook towards the end of the round. And I'm pleased in the way that he got caught with that, because that was a, like a little reminder that uh, he's just got to watch what he's doing. But nevertheless, the tempo he set, the work rate, far superior to his opponent. His opponent couldn't cope. He was punching to the head here, straight shots, then he was switching downstairs. I thought it was a, a very good display, a very encouraging, positive display from Joe Joyce there. Working at range, switching downstairs, look with the combinations, and then getting the guard up as his opponent replies. Good start, good first round, Joe Joyce. And uh, the judges all agree with you there, Richie. Unanimous. 10-9, 10-9, 10-9 for Joe Joyce, comfortably ahead of the American in the first round. An excellent start for the British Lionheart. What the American corner may be saying to their man at the start of this round, Nick, is he won't be able to keep this pace going. Don't worry about it, he will slow down. But trust me, he can keep it going. He's one of the fittest super heavies we've had in the GB squad for a long time, along with, obviously, Anthony Joshua, who's on another level to most of his opponents. But Joe Joyce himself, very, very fit, trains very hard indeed. And what you're seeing tonight, we see all the time in the gym in terms of the tempo that he's setting and the work rate. Very good indeed. Well, Richie, I know you're up in Sheffield at the uh, National Training Centre for British Boxing and uh, often on the pads with these guys, but uh, as you quite rightly say, it is the work rate that Joe Joyce is demonstrating at this point in the bout that is most impressive. And uh, it's certainly keeping the American at bay, who's got a lot of experience. He's been around the block many times at Avery Gibson, heading for his uh, 31st birthday. Well, Gibson is showing he's got a little bit of bottle here, which is good, he's taking a lot of shots, but he's starting to come back now and trying to catch 
Joyce with these shots over the top with the left hand and the right hand over the top also. So, yeah, good response there from Gibson. It's exactly the learning curve and exactly the type of opponent that uh, Joe Joyce and the coaches of the British Lionhearts were hoping for. This will be no easy ride for the boxer out of the Earlsfield ABC. Gibson's dying to get caught with shots, but still he's looking for that right hand over the top. And there it was again, so that's what his corner have told him. Target that shot. It's up to him now, it's going to be a real test for him because he's taking punch after stop, punch, stop, but he's stop, still stop, coming stop. back and he's looking for the one single shot to maybe end the contest, that right hand over the top. Just keep putting that jab out, Joe. Got to be accurate with it though, Nick. Can't afford to fall short. See Gibson, look, there it is again. That's the danger shot. Oh, lovely, that's better, Joe Joyce. You see, what Gibson's relying on here is if Joyce falls short with the jab, he's coming forward and then he swings the right hand and he tries to catch him as he's coming forward. He's hoping for an inaccurate jab, but it's not happening. This is better from Joyce. And Joyce giving a bit of his own medicine with a couple of right hands over the top himself there as well. And just as we thought Joe Joyce was getting under a little bit of a pressure, well, he retaliated well, stayed calm, and put together some very strong combinations towards the end of that second yeah. round. Another good round for Joyce, I thought he won the round, but Joyce himself, oh, sorry, um, Gibson himself, landed with the odd shot. There's that right hand over the top. Joyce comes back with his own work. Straighter shots are from Joe Joyce. The swinging shot, the right hand over the top, comes from Gibson. But here, keeps his man on the ropes there. That was a great sustained attack from Joyce. Two rounds to zero. Joe Joyce, so far so good. The clean sweep for the British Lionhearts is looking good here. But it's uh, he's got to be careful, Joe Joyce. This is a wily competitor here, Avery Gibson. And uh, he's got a repertoire that could just knock Joe off his game if he's not careful going into this third round. This is the key round for Joyce to put himself into the comfort zone. This is the key round for the American in the blue shorts, Avery Gibson, to try and get back into this final bout of the evening here at the York Hall in Bethnal Green, London. When you look at Joyce, you don't see many super heavyweights up on their toes, bouncing around. He's got good fitness. But this may be a test of his concentration here. There's that overhand right from Gibson. It's a hopeful shot, but if he's coming forward, Joyce, and he's slow with that jab and doesn't get that left hand back to the on-guard position, there's always a chance he could walk onto the shot. So it's a case of 100% concentration level here. Can't afford to get sloppy, Nick. Not at all. It's exactly what he needs to learn. It's a sharp learning curve for Joe Joyce. But, uh, as we said at the beginning of this bout, comes into his uh, third fight of the WSB Series 3 and uh, is undefeated. Oh, there's a good shot there. Good counter punch from Joyce. And leads on to some nice combination work. Shots to the body and the head there, Gibson. He's a bit of a tough nut, this American. Took a couple of hard shots there. <laughs> Starting to tire now in this third round, Avery Gibson. One of those, one or two of the shots from the Americans with a little bit of hope attached to them rather than accuracy. See, Joyce works better at long range, Nick. Where he's vulnerable is when he comes in more into mid-range to land the heavier shots. He should box more at long range 
but obviously when he's caught his opponent with a good shot, he naturally moves into a mid-range position, but that's where he's a little bit vulnerable. The guard's got to be up and needs probably have a little bit more head movement as he's moving forward into that position. But a, oh, beautiful oh, two, three wonderful uppercuts from uh, Joe Joyce, and the Americans hurt here and in trouble. Well, you said it, Richie, this Californian can take a big punch, yeah. no question there. Ten seconds left on the clock in this uh, third round of five. And uh, Joe Joyce with uh, two or three stinging uppercuts to surely give him uh, the third round as well as the first two. But this American will take this all the way, no question. The American gives the acknowledgement there to Joe Joyce that that was an impressive third round for the British Lionheart. Yeah, tremendous stuff from Joyce. I've actually taken him on the pads many times and I've always been impressed with his work rate. He just keeps coming, he really does. And I, I like the way he just started to relax in that last 20 or 30 seconds there. He dropped his hands at one, one point just to have a little shake off, just to relax a little bit more. Just coming forward, relentless pressure from, from Joyce. He actually blocked that left up there as he's coming forward and blocked another one and caught his opponent coming in. But when he works at range, Joe Joyce, very impressive indeed. There he moves in, that was the best shot of the round, that right uppercut that hurt his opponent and then he sustains the attack by keeping him on the ropes. Some good stuff here from a different angle. There he is there, the right uppercut, and then he pushes him back to the ropes. Right hand there, just wasn't too far away. Credit where it's due, Gibson did well to come back from those punches. Yeah, he's a hard man, Gibson. In control, Joe Joyce, fourth round. And uh, just needs to keep it up. Needs a little bit of that Anthony Joshua style, his uh, sparring partner, and of course, Britain's Olympic gold medalist, who has that straight punch combination so beautifully timed and dialed. Yeah. Well, with, with Joe Joyce, we're working on, on, on just relaxing him a little bit more. But this is an impressive display up to now. Boxing very well. Just has to relax here and there. With, with Joyce, he stiffens up occasionally. But uh, nevertheless, up on his toes, looking fit, looking the part. And that's demoralising for the opponent. As he just keeps coming forward, setting the pace. And again, another impressive display so far from Joe Joyce in this round. Two minutes left of the three in this uh, penultimate round. And Joe Joyce still peppering that jab. Still showing the American that he's uh, as sharp in this fourth as he was in the first. Gibson hands down, he's trying to draw Joyce in there, he's looking for the right hand over the top. He's just trying to draw him in, there it is there, looking nearly through it. There you go. <laughs> yeah, there it was there, you can see it a mile away. Almost there, big right hand over the top, but uh, Joyce has learned how to deal with those. Now the, Ameri the American has to take a little bit of the British Lionheart's attack. Blocking these left hooks very well is Joyce. What he needs to start doing now, Nick, is landing more left jabs. His jab's gone to sleep. Oh, 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 again, right up got on the inside. Beautiful uppercut. And uh, it was that uppercut that did the damage in the third, and it's doing the same in the fourth. Good work from Joe Joyce. Americans uh, trying to draw him in here. It work with the jab. There you go. That's what he's got to do to create the openings. And there, set himself up with the right hand. Oh, Gibson's in the corner now. And does well to punch his way out of that tight situation. Head up, head up. See what Gibson's done very cleverly in this round. Nick, he slowed things down by dropping the hands, showboating a little Stop bit. Partying. He's Stop partying. just trying Let to him go. Work, run the clock down. He's tiring. Joyce has got to recognise that, got to keep to his work rate, his tempo. That's better with the gym. There you go. Once again, Jab looking to create the opening for Joe Joyce. Good finish to the round. Surely now, 
Joe Joyce has done enough not only to win his third successive WSB bout, but also to give the, uh, so, the British line out a clean sweep. And it isn't that right uppercut such a lovely shot yep. from super Joyce. Punch. That was a super shot here from a different angle. Great punch there from Joe Joyce. Showed good variety in this contest. He's straight punching them, and that right up the also on the inside. Just a case of now holding the concentration. Won every round from every judge. Good display up to now, just got to finish it off. Still listening as well. Taking in the information from uh, Lee Pullen and uh, Dave Alloway, two Lionheart coaches. In the corner for Joe Joyce. Comfortably winning all four of the rounds. This is the fifth and final. And uh, this uh, final round for Joyce to give the British Lionhearts a 5-0 clean sweep against the USA knockouts here in London tonight. Oh, a couple of good counter punches from Avery Gibson. Looking for the big one to try and finish Joe Joyce, if at all possible, in this fifth round. Well, Joyce can only lose this, this contest now through a lack of concentration. He's Oh, good shots here from Joyce. And to the body as well, Richie. Yeah. But when he's in those positions, that's when Gibson can throw a lucky shot. And there was one there, look. Another good right up a cup from Joyce. Just got to keep that guard nice and tight as he's moving into that position to try and finish his opponent off. He's got to keep his wits about him. Look, gets caught there, look, you see, with a silly shot. But nevertheless, now, Gibson is struggling now. It's really getting to him now, the pace, and he's been hurt a couple of times in this round. Sticks to the tactical plan. Oh, another good shot there with the left. Joe Joyce. He's a London lad through and through. Lives in Putney, boxes out of Ursfield. There's plenty come to support him tonight, and he's not disappointed. I'll tell you what, Nick, this Gibson's earned his money tonight. Oh, he's, had a, he's had a tough night's work, this fella. Again, what a great block that is from Joyce. Just a simple block to the left hook. Keeping that right hand nice and high and just blocks it with the elbow. Just wants to put the icing on the cake here, which is Joe Joyce. Really wants to finish in style, the work rate. He's kept up right to the very end. There's under a minute now in this fifth and final round. And uh, Joe Joyce's performance here sums up the performance of all the British Lionhearts here tonight at the York Hall. They have been sensational. Fair to say, their next home match against Kazakhstan will be their toughest. But if they can bring this kind of form to the York Hall on February the 7th, who knows, they could go top of their group. Look at the fitness of Joyce, up on his toes. Gibson struggling now. You have to give him credit because I didn't think he would last at this pace that Joyce has set. But he's still in there, the American, but a great end to the round from from Joyce, work rate superb, and Gibson having a little go now. Fair play to him. Oh, well, Joe Joyce has held his form, hold his game plan. Excellent work from both boxers, but Joe Joyce, once again, far too superior for his opponents, and maintains that impressive unbeaten record. Joe Joyce goes from strength to strength in this uh, WSB series for 2013, and it's a clean sweep for the British Lionhearts. Fantastic performance for the London boxer. Yep, good display. I don't think there'll be many super heavyweights throw that many punches over five rounds, Nick. Very impressive indeed in terms of his work rate, but I think it was a good performance from him, mainly boxing at range on that front foot. Straight punches were superb, but also showed a bit of variety on the inside there with that right uppercut especially. And he's still bouncing now, look, extremely fit, really enjoying it. Good performance, Joe Joyce. Trains very, very hard, as you can see from his physique. And uh, when you train hard, you box easy, as they say. And uh, he's, he's won easily tonight. Classic, absolute classic. Well done, uh, Joe Joyce.
Ladies and gentlemen, after five three-minute rounds of boxing, here are the judges' score totals. All three judges in full agreement by the same scores of 50 to 45. For the winner by way of unanimous decision, representing British Lionheart. And making the contest a 5 mil whitewash, London's very own Joe Joyce. We appreciate you, please, for the USA knockouts, Avery Gibson. Well, you talk about fitness and agility of a heavyweight boxer. I don't know many heavyweight pros that can do a backflip like that, Richie. I taught him that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tremendous. Let's see what Joe's got to say about that performance with uh, Michael Pass in the ring. Joe, just uh, a couple of questions before we go. Um, your supporters have stayed behind for your contest. We do appreciate that. Uh, a great whitewash victory, a great victory for yourself. When you kept him within range, you got the uppercut, weren't it working well? His only offensive weapon seemed this big overhand right. What do you think? Yeah, I was careful not to be hit by it. Keep, keep really get my guard up. Um, it's uh, once again, it's good experience. Uh, another opponent, I'm a good opponent. And uh, thanks for all you guys coming out there to support me. Guys and girls. Thank you, Joe. I think that result takes us back into second place as DJ Spoonie's been stating all night. We're back here at the York Hall Thursday, the 7th of February against the league leaders. We need to reverse the defeat we had in Kazakhstan when we lost 5-0, but we're showing we're dominant at home. Don't forget the next visit, Astana Arlands, Kazakhstan, 7th of February. The league leaders should be a tremendous evening. Thank you. Well, let's just take another look at the recap of this very impressive performance. He said it himself, he was really chuffed with the way that he was able to block that big over-the-top right from the American. He felt that was a key part of his repertoire to win this heavyweight competition. Yeah, yeah I think it was a test of, of his concentration, wasn't it? He knew that that was a major weapon that his opponent had. He blocked it on several occasions. He got caught here and there, though, with it. That one there wasn't too far away. But I was impressed as well the way he blocked the left hook, especially because it wasn't just the right hand it was the left hook also that was dangerous from Gibson. But the work rate from Joe Joyce, that was a good block there, look. The work rate from Joe Joyce was superb, it really was. For a super heavyweight to set the pace he did, they didn't expect that pace for over the five rounds. And there was the variation there with that right uppercut. Super punch, here it is there. That was one of the best punches of this contest. And I think it was this lad is improving with every contest. He's growing in confidence and, and, and has a big, bright future, Joe Joyce. And, you know, there's Anthony Joshua. We don't know what Anthony Joshua is going to do. We hope he stays amateur, but you never know. But Joe Joyce, he's learning and he's improving. So here's the confirmation of the British Lionhearts clean sweep, and they maintain their unbeaten record when boxing at home. Wins for Arrow, Nevin, Selby, Ward and Joe Joyce in what has been an emphatic victory for the British Lionhearts here at the York Hall. The British Lionhearts move up to second position in the Group B standings. They will face that team that is it, number one in the standings. February the 7th, the British Lionhearts will go up against the Astana Islands of Kazakhstan, who beat them away. The million-dollar question, can we beat them at home?